Sorry about the mess. Oh, no problem. Thanks for cooking, it tastes really good. Yeah, no problem. Anything to pass the time, avoid unpacking. I bet. And I just really hate going out. It's too crowded, too, too expensive. I just don't really like it. Yeah. So when'd you move in? A couple days ago, I guess. Wednesday? Wow, recent. I guess a few boxes here and there isn't that bad. <laughs> I like to tell myself that. So, how have you been? It's been a long time. It has, hasn't it? Since graduation? Yeah. It's too long. It is. I'm really glad to see you tonight, Mel. Me too. And you seem to be doing pretty good. I guess as far as this apartment, I guess. Yeah, it's nice. So, how about you? How are you? Pretty good. Um, me and Jason have been doing a lot lately. Jason Alias. Yeah, I thought you knew about that. No, yeah, I knew. Would you like some more wine? Uh, sure. Thanks. Y you can have it. I I really don't like the taste. Oh, okay. So you can imagine by the time that we got to him, there really wasn't much we could do. I can understand that. Have a seat, I'll get you some coffee. No thanks, I'm fine. You hate to see a young kid like that get into this kind of trouble. Happens all too often. Mm-hmm. So, how's the investigation going? Eh, yeah, so-so. He doesn't seem to be missed all that much. His closest relative was his sister. He had dinner with her the other night, and he had some sort of date this past week, but I think she was involved with another, with another guy. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, we're definitely looking into it. It's too early to tell, though. True. You know what, I think I love that coffee. Sure thing. Jason, what Shut the- Shut up and listen. Going places you don't need to be. What do you mean? I'm not stupid. I know what you've been up to. You don't know anything. Look, I've been where you're going and it's not pretty. If you want to keep messing around, well, I warned you. Don't threaten me. You'll be glad I did. Where the hell were you? Out. Just out? Yes, just out. Is there some sort of problem? Out with a guy? You're overreacting. That's not how it was at all. You were out with a guy, but it doesn't matter to me. Right. We were friends in high school. He just moved back. We just had a meal. It's no big deal. It better not be. Well, it's not. I don't want you seeing him again. Okay? Fine. Involved. I didn't want to get involved in the whole thing here. Yes, yes, I can understand, but I didn't do anything. So you're already involved. Continue with that. What if I don't? But please, that isn't fair. I know it isn't, sir. Okay. Okay, I'll get you all the money you need. Alex and Jason. Both of them. I'm so glad you could make it. I am too. How are you? Um, I'm good, thanks. It's been a while. It has. Since graduation, right? Wow, it has, hasn't it? We should have kept in touch. I know, we really should have. Do you still live on Birch Street? No, I actually moved into an apartment. Oh, really? When? Yesterday, actually. Wow! 
Is it nice? I'd really love to see it. No, 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 it's actually kind of messy right now. Oh, no. That's okay. Another day, maybe. That sounds good. So, what about you? Sorry? Same place? Oh, yeah. Not much has changed. I like that. Me too. I think. You want to order some food? I'd love to. And then we can catch up a little bit. I'd love to. Yes? I'm sorry to bother you, Doctor, but um, we didn't get any information on um, uh, Alex. Like? Well, the time of death. 2347. And the official cause of death. Can't someone else give you this information? Uh, sir, you were the only one there at the time. Severe abdominal hemorrhaging and cranial trauma. Thank you, sir. Has anyone shown up? I'm sorry? Have any members of his family arrived? Not that I know of. Well, if anyone comes, tell them they need to get the money to me somehow. Yes, sir. Let me...